here. Well, it's December and it's time to share some other people's projects from all around the world. And so welcome to this episode of OPP. Our first project is from Claudio Nestor Rodriguez and he is from Buenos Aires. He made this pencil and tarja for a friend that is also his son's teacher. Very cool, Claudio. Thanks for sharing that. These next projects are from Hemet Mida and he is from Wario and he made these cars and trucks. He also made an airplane and he sent it in a video, but I can't download videos for some reason from Facebook. So here are some pictures of what he's done. So thanks for sharing those, Hamid. This next project is from Steve Baker and he owns Cross Timbers Woodcrafts. He made this eagle and it is from a Steve Good pattern. He said he modified it a little bit. He also entered it in the National Veterans Creative Arts Competition and looks like he won a blue ribbon. So way to go there, Steve. And now I'm all interested in this veterans competition. Cool. So thanks for sharing that, Steve, and make sure to check out all of his links down below. This next project is from Chris Smith, who is also the wood engineer. He also has a YouTube channel and I'll have the link in the description box below. And he has a video of him making this Boba Fett. So make sure you check out his video down below and his YouTube channel. Thanks, Chris. The next project is from Dennis Duperon, and he also has a YouTube channel, and he has a bunch of social media sites that I have put in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. But he, this is his very, very first Intarja project he's ever done, and it's a rose. He said it's made from walnut, oak, and the base is pine. So good job there, Dennis. This next sign is done by Andrew T. Newton and he made this for a little boy that passed away and his school has made a garden for him in his honor. This is a sign that's gonna go at the entrance of the garden, which is really, really cool, Andrew. He said he used two pieces of rough sawn wood and then he used a jig to do the lettering and he painted the letters orange, which was Jude's favorite color. He also added the little lion that was done with a CNC machine. He also put a verse on the back of the sign, which is Genesis 112, which says, the earth produced vegetation, the various kinds of seed bearing plants and the fruit trees with seeds inside, each corresponding to its own species. God saw that it was good, which is very appropriate for this garden for this little boy. What a really cool and special thing you've done for this boy in his memory, Andrew. So thanks for sharing it with us. The next couple of pieces are from Ron Galata. They are an intarsia whale and a dog. So thanks for sharing those, Ron. The next couple of projects are from Ron Sweat. He is 70 years old and he is from Jacksonville, Florida. And he has made this intarsia eagle pattern. That's a Judy Gale Roberts pattern. And he said he modified it a little bit. He also made these bird and butterfly houses. And I think they're pretty cool. Thanks for sending me the plans, Ron. He also put Isaiah 4031 on the back of the eagle, which says, but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. So thanks a lot for that, Ron. This next project is from James Beaton and he is from Australia. And he made this white dog from a Judy Gale Roberts pattern. He said he made it out of single piece of pine. He's been using Wilton food dye, but this time he tried acrylic inks. He said he made this for a neighbor who was going to give it away as a gift because that person has a Westie named Minty. So very cool, James. I'm sure that your friend's friend is going to just love this because it looks awesome. Thanks for sharing it. Okay, well that concludes this December episode of OPP. Thanks everybody for sending me your projects and your information about your projects and your links and things to your web pages, blogs, social medias, and YouTube channels. And if you'd like me to share your project on OPP, please send me an email or a Facebook message or something and tell me a little bit about your project. And if you wanted to show me something that you're working on and you don't want me to share it on OPP, then just let me know and I won't share it, but I'll take a look at it. So thanks again, everybody. Have a great Christmas, and we'll see you next time. Bye.